Today's adventure, Gloucester Docks. Once the farthest inland port anywhere in the country. And today, home to the National Waterways Museum. Belonging to the Canals and River Trust. We'll go take a look, see what they've got to offer. Maybe play a bit of music, who knows. Let's go take a look. Pause to read. Here's a range of different containers for transporting different types of goods. The teller's office and his scales. A collection of marine engines and controls. This is a Bollinger semi-diesel, whatever one of those is. A Sissons Marine steam engine, built locally in Gloucester. Another steam engine, this one manufactured in Birmingham, for the Launch King, which was used at Tewkesbury. Another good local connection there. And the one horsepower model. This is a Foden steam engine. And this was used to drive a winch for hauling boats up and down the slipway in Liverpool. That's certainly a beast, isn't it? The building itself is worth a look. Wonderful structure. Narrowboat folk and their goods and chattels.
surveyor's equipment. And you may have heard in the old measurements of chains. Well, it was actually a chain, and that's it. That's how they did their measuring. A couple of theodolites. That floor looks original. So the knots are harder than the surrounding wood. Lost to docks in the 1930s, including the old marshalling yard. Various mechanisms for opening and closing the paddles on the lock gates. Oh, that's a beast. Treasure.
Harbour House and the dry dock. A steam crane built by William Blanford of Leeds around 1880. Capacity one ton. And you wouldn't want to be standing next to that if it blew up. What a marvellously intricate piece of machinery. I was born of the land and went to the sea like my father and his father before. At night round the table as the lantern burned him, they talk of the changes in store. And they talked about old times, both good times and bad, and they talked about the hardships they seen. And they talked about storms and the narrow escapes as they fished that old sea of change. I had just turned 13 when I followed me dad with me boots and me oil skins in hand. It was a rise before dawn, work well into the night as I learned the fisherman's ways. And the talk was about old times, times and bad, and they talked about the hardships they'd seen. And they talked about storms and narrow escapes as they fished the old sea chain. I fished for twelve seasons, I was son of my own, but Lord, how the fishing has changed. I say don't follow the sea lad, there's no future here, when he asked of the fisherman's ways. And I talk about old times, both good times and bad, and I talk about the hardships I've seen. And I talk about storms and narrow escapes when I fished that old 